Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the rhombus. Ito yung tipong nasa maling bus ka. And, okay, so kidding aside, how do we define rhombus? Rhombus is a parallelogram. Again, it is a type of parallelogram with four equal sides. So let's elaborate the definition. Since sinabi natin that this one is an example of parallelogram, meaning it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides. And by definition, it has four equal sides. So basically, uh, let's start naming first the rhombus. So let's start with this one. We can name this rhombus as rhombus. We can use the word rhombus. L-O-V-E. Using the different corners or the letters representing the vertices. And also, you can use the symbol, the symbol, to represent the rhombus. L-O-V-E. These are the possible name of this given figure. Now, for the four equal sides, since the sides are equal, meaning we have four congruent sides. So what are those sides? So this side, as you can see, we have the markings, pare pares yung markings nila. We have side LO. Yung side LO natin, by definition, is congruent to side OV, kasi pares sila ng markings. So side O. V. So this is side OV. Next, side OV is also congruent to side VE. Side VE. And lastly, these three sides are also congruent so to side EL. That's in basic definition na meron tayo sa ating rhombus. For the next part of our video, we will talk about the different properties of rhombus. And I hope na matutunan niyo yung different properties sa video natin. Now, let us discuss the different properties of a rhombus. So, let me read first all the properties and later on, we will try to explain and I will give you some examples for you to able to understand ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng different properties natin. So, for property number one, all the properties of a parallelogram apply. Since this one is a parallelogram, tandaan na, Rhombus is an example of parallelogram. Therefore, the properties that it has are applicable to rhombus. So, the ones that matter here are parallel sides. So, we have two pairs of parallel sides. Opposite angles are congruent. And consecutive angles are supplementary. So, again, let me remind you of the different properties of parallelogram that is applicable to rhombus. First, um, parallel sides. So, we have two pairs of parallel sides. Let's say, for example, uh, we will use again the word or the letters L-O-V-E. Given this first part of our property, when we say parallel sides, um, the opposite sides are parallel. So we can say that side L-O is parallel, is parallel to side E-V or V-E. And L-E, side L-E, side LE is parallel to side VO because opposite sides sila. So side VO. Ito ngayon yung opposite sides are parallel. And then opposite angles are congruent. So this one is a rhombus or a type of parallelogram in which this part angle of L, this angle is congruent to this angle. So we can say that Angle E L O, ito ah, angle E L O is congruent to angle E V O. Angle E V O. And another, this one is also congruent, and this angle is congruent to this angle. So we can say that angle L E V, angle L E V is congruent to angle LOV. Yan. And lastly, consecutive angles are supplementary. So, pwede natin sabihin that this angle and this angle is equivalent to 180. This angle is equivalent to 180. And this one is also equivalent to 180. Ayan yung pinaka-concepto pinaka ng ating property na adopt niya from parallelogram. Now, for our next property, we have here the diagonals of our rhombus 
are perpendicular. And aside from that, the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So unahin muna natin yung the, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. What is meant by this one? We have here the diagonals like uh, we have diagonals line LV and line EO. So as you can see, the diagonals are intersecting each other and no nag intersect sila, meron silang angular form. And this angle, this one na, this angle is a right angle. All of these angles are right angles because the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. In other words, kung i-view nyo yung mas maayos yung ating figure, we have four right triangles sa mismong, ay natin, sa mismong rhombus natin nung nag-intersect yung dalawang diagonal. And aside from that, let's move on naman sa next natin. Again na, since these angles are right angles or perpendicular, meaning the measurement is equal to 90 degrees. So let's move on with the next one. Each diagonal of a rhombus, ah, sorry, the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So, nag-intersect si LV at saka si diagonal EO and nung nag-intersect sila, sabi nito, the diagonals bisect each other. Meaning, in um, this side, lagyan natin yung point of intersection, lagyan natin yung ito. Letter D. LD is congruent to side or to segment DD because the diagonal the diagonals bisect each other. Again, we have LD is congruent to segment DD because the diagonals bisect each other. And aside from that, nung, in, nung nang intersect sila, itong segment ED is congruent to segment DO. So you can say that ED is congruent to segment DO. So sir, uh, bigyan nyo kami ng examples na ina-apply yung property na to. So simple lang naman, let's say for example, yung LD nyo, or side LD is equal to 4 units. Your LD is 4 units. And then you will be asked, what is the length of side or segment DB? Since they are congruent, meaning this one is also 4 units. And aside from that, punta naman natin yung uh, iba pang segment. Let's say for example, yung, e, yung DO is equivalent to 5 units. This is 5 units. Meaning, yung segment natin or yung line D, ED natin is also 5 units. Ganun lang simple yung property natin na the diagonals of our rhombus bisect each other. So, for the next, last part of our video, Pupunta naman natin tong mismong property natin. Each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. Now, for the last part of our video, let us discuss the last property of rhombus. And this one is each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. So, let's say for example, I will assign the measurement of the four different angles that we have here in a rhombus. Let's say this one is a 40 degree angle and this is a 140 degree angle because they are supplementary and this one is also 140 by the property opposite angles are congruent and this one is also 40 degrees because they are congruent and since we're talking about diagonals magcreate tayo ngayon ng diagonal let's draw diagonal LO so let us draw diagonal LO Remember, this one is 40, and this is also 40 degrees. So let us draw diagonal LO. So I will draw a not so perfect diagonal. So when I have diagonal LO, and as you can remember, this angle measures 40, and by definition or by property, each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. So if we have diagonal LO, kung meron tayong diagonal LO, and this angle, this, this whole angle measures 40, what is the measurement right now of 
angle L E O. Ito po. Angle L E O. Angle L E O is equivalent to 20 degrees. Again, L E O is equivalent to 20 degrees. And for angle V E O, that is also equivalent to 20 degrees. Sir, what is the reason? Because each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. Pag sinabi ka sa ating bisect, kapag in-intersect niya yung angle na yun, hinahati niya siya into two equal angles. So therefore, we can say that these angles are congruent. And also, on the other side, yung ating angle o kanina, which is 40 degrees, these angles are also equivalent to 20 degrees. They're all congruent. Okay? So, sir, how about if we can draw, or we will draw, a diagonal LV? And this is 140. Diagonal LV. Diagonal LV. Let me draw diagonal LV. Okay. Since we have diagonal LV, and applying this property, this diagonal bisect angle L. If this is 140, we can say that angle ELV e -L -V is equivalent to 70 degrees because 140 divided by 2 is equal to 70 degrees. This one is 70 degrees, so we can say that this angle is congruent to this angle. Pareha silang 70 degrees. Okay? And yes, sir, how about this angle? So, but equivalent din sila dito or congruent din sila dito. Okay? So, we can say that angle O LV is equivalent to wait lang ha? E LV O LV is equivalent to 70 degrees. Ganito rin yung dalawang angles sa mga. So, because of that property, again, each diagonal of a rhombus bisects opposite angles. So I hope na you learned something from this video about the definition of a rhombus wherein it is a parallelogram with four equal sides and the different properties of a rhombus wherein yung properties ng rhombus since siya ay isang parallelogram na-adapt niya yung properties ng parallelogram. And kung mapapansin niyo, yung ibang properties natin ay nag-focus na sa diagonals of a rhombus. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Tsaka pala, kung meron kang request sa video or topic na gusto mo discuss natin, pwede ka mag-comment sa ating comment section. Again, thank you. Bye!